Hello again. In this technique lesson, I'm going to talk about paradiddles and how they can really help you out in your general playing. So first up, really quickly, let's go over what a paradiddle is. It's two singles and two doubles, and then that alternates onto the other hand, where we once again play two singles and two doubles. All up, it sounds like paradiddle, paradiddle, but this is how the pattern goes. Some people might say that the reason to practice paradiddles is to keep your hands balanced and so it makes it easier moving around the kit so you never get stuck on one particular hand. But the thing that I find paradiddles the most useful for is practicing my dynamics. And to do that, we're going to have to focus in on the technique a little bit. So now, instead of focusing on the right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, I'm going to focus on the down, up, tap, tap. Let me play it for you slowly. There are two things to focus in on there. The first one is to keep your low strokes really, really low. That's going to improve your dynamics by keeping a big separation between the accent and all of the in-between notes. It's also going to help you play faster down the track because your stick doesn't have to move as far. And so that way you'll be able to get it to just sizzle along and go way, way, way faster when you're playing those paradiddles. The other thing to look at is the upstroke. It's great to lead that from the wrist as if you had a string attached to your wrist and that's going to create a big whipping motion so that your hands are always moving and preparing for the next stroke. Let me play through those paradiddles one more time up to speed with those techniques. You can work on that technique for as long as you need to and it really can be a lifelong journey trying to stay relaxed as the speed gets faster and faster. The next thing we can look at in terms of the paradiddles though is inverting them and what that's going to do is move the accent all the way through the bar and that's going to help you to hear different ideas as you're playing drums. So we've already done the single paradiddle, the next one we'll look at is the outward paradiddle and that moves the accent onto the E of every beat. So you'll see that the motion hasn't changed, the paradiddle has just been moved over by one beat. So once you can work out where that accent is supposed to fall, from there you can just keep using that same down, up, tap, tap motion. The next paradiddle to look at is a reverse paradiddle. This starts with the two doubles and then we have an accent on the ant. And then the fourth inversion is an inward paradiddle where the double's on the inside. The last exercise that I'll show you is an eight bar loop where we go through all of those paradiddle inversions on both the right hand and the left hand. Here it is slowly. And now I'll go over it one more time, a little bit faster. Yeah. 
The more you practice those paradiddles, the better you're going to be able to hear accents right throughout the bar. And the more you practice that technique, the better your dynamics are going to be. Your ghost notes are going to be lower, your accents are going to be bigger, and that's going to make a huge musical difference to your drumming. So have fun practicing that one, and I'll see you guys next time.